Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel and welcome again to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and uh, liking and sharing and all those good things that you do that help me grow this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button and that bell and you'll be notified when I post a new video. I've got lots of fun things coming. Not the least of which is that I'm in the middle of Me Made Mexico, where I am making my entire travel wardrobe for my trip to Mexico in March. So um, the other thing we have going is viewer makes. Um, I love it when you send in your makes to me and then I show them on the air and um, it's really fun to see what everyone is doing. So please send those in. I don't have any to share today. So here's my please, send them in. The, uh, email address will be down there in the description box. And uh, I love doing that. I love seeing what other people are making. All right, and you can also use Instagram and message me there if you'd rather do it that way. So in my um, summing up what I have to take to Mexico, I decided that I maybe just needed a couple more t-shirts just for, you know, just in case I need them during the, for a day trip or something. So I decided I needed to make something quick and my thoughts went right away to the La Bella Donna by Love Notions. Probably one of the fastest patterns you'll ever make. And um, it's just a very simple dolman style t-shirt. It has little arm cuffs and a sleeve band if you want one or just a curved hem. So it's very, very quick make. And I wanted to know just how quick is it? So I'm going to time myself and we will see how long it takes to construct this garment. Now, I, when I decided to do this, I already had it cut out. So I would say maybe add another five minutes on to cut it out. There's the front, the back, the neck binding, and sleeve cuffs. So there's just those four, and um, so there, what does not take very long to cut out. So I apologize that's not included in this time here. Um, but as you watch this, what is included is that I had to rethread my serger. I had to wind my bobbin. So I didn't um, cut out any of that time that it takes to do those normal sewing things that happen to us as we sew. Here's my finished La Belladonna. I love it. Um, it needs a good press still but um, I will be adding this to my wardrobe. I have a really neat Ravinia skirt that I'd like to pair that with. Um, maybe I'll do that with some pictures. Anyway, I am about to head out to the dentist for the day. I know, not my favorite thing to do. But before that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna show you this time-lapse video of me making La Bella Donna. And um, so you can see just how quick it is. And the best part is today is Feature Friday on Love Notions and that pattern today is only $5. So if you'd follow that um, link down below, um, that is an affiliate link, so I get a little bit of um, commission when you'd use that link. Um, certainly don't have to, but it is very much appreciated if you do. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, so.
Ella is a very quick sew and in the uh, few that I did, it takes just one yard of fabric. So if you've got a, some one yard cuts of knit and you don't know what to do with them, this is a fantastic pattern. It has many choices. It has um, your choice of sleeves. It has a hem band if you like it or not. Um, there's many choices that you can do with this pattern. You can also do a hood if you want one. So it's very versatile. And today it's only $5. So go ahead and um, head over to Love Notions using my link below and pick up your Feature Friday today for $5. So it took me just a little bit over an hour, like an hour and 15, but that included threading my bobbin and changing my serger thread, which if you have a serger, you know how not fast that is. <laughs> so you might ask, why did I change my serger thread in the middle? Well, I'm gonna give you my best tip for curved hems. And that is take your serger and put fusible thread in the upper looper. The upper looper is the second one over. It's the one that makes all the loops on the top. All right, once you thread that in the upper looper, you turn the garment inside out and you sew, you serge just the very edge, all right? So then you have a fusible edge on the inside of your garment and you just turn it up and fuse it with your iron. And that is the fastest and nicest looking curved hem. Um, this is how it comes out, very neat, very nice. And that is what I always use on curved hems. I'll also put a link down there for the uh, fusible thread that I use. It's Guterman. I get it from Amazon. I'm sure some other places have it as well. Um, very handy stuff to have uh, for things like this. Very quick hem. It's also a really quick hem on anything. I mean, if you're in a hurry to make a pair of pajama pants for um, a kid and you just don't really have time to hem, you can just do that and it, it, it's wonderful. It's very neat on the, it's as neat on the inside as it is on the out. So, um, anyway, that's my tip for today. So anyway, I made three Belladonna tops in a um, very short amount of time and I just love them. And they're gonna be an excellent addition to my travel wardrobe. And now I am headed to the dentist for a root canal, which is my least favorite thing. If you stack things of what is your favorite thing to do, the root canal would not be one of them. So I wanted to get this video in before uh, I couldn't move my mouth later today. <laughs> so anyway, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Friday and happy sewing.